Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today I bring you a sweet recipe in a savory form. This recipe is a sweet fried dumpling that is made during festival seasons in India and it is known by various names in different states of India. In Maharashtra it's known as the karanji, in the north as gujia, in Tamil Nadu as somas and in Goa as navy. Today I bring you a savory variation of this sweet dumpling. If this is your first visit to my channel, hello and welcome. I do post videos every week. Do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon and join me to learn together. Today's recipe is a savory non-veg variation of the same and I have used mince meat for this recipe. You can use any mince meat that you like. Uh, I have boiled the mince meat with uh, a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and salt and pepper till it is totally dry. To save time this can be prepared a day in advance and stored in the refrigerator. Add in the boiled potatoes, the green peas, lime juice, all the dry masalas and salt if required. Mix everything well and keep it aside. For a vegetarian version, use only the potato and peas. In case you want to skip the potatoes, you can replace it with uh, turnip or shalgam. Now that the filling is ready, we start with the outer casing. Mix all the ingredients mentioned to form a soft dough. To get a crisp outer casing, use chilled water instead of normal water. I have used chilled whey to knead the dough. Whenever I make paneer, I store the whey in the fridge for a week and use it either in gravy, soups or for kneading the dough. Once the dough is ready, keep it aside for 15-20 minutes. Dust your work surface and take lime sized balls. Roll it out into circles of 5-6 to six inches diameter. Place the rolled out dough on a greased karanji mold and press uh, gently into the corners. Now place your filling on one side of the mold, taking care to see that you leave the edges. Close the mold and press it tight so that it cuts in shape. Remove the excess dough and take it out of the mold. Use a fork to seal the corners so that uh, it does not burst when it is fried. Dripping 
in case you don't have a mold roll it out and then cut it into a nice perfect round either using a pastry cutter or a plate or a tin whatever is available with you stuff the filling on one half of it apply water on the edges and fold over and seal with the fork Once all the karangis are ready, then we will start the frying process. Heat oil on medium high. To check the heat, do the toothpick test. Just dip a toothpick into the hot oil and if it is bubbling all around it, it is ready to be fried. Carefully drop in the karangis and fry till it is golden brown on either side. When done, remove it and drain it on paper towel. This was the last remaining portion of the dough, which I shaped into a round dumpling. Enjoy the savory karangis with your favorite chutney or ketchup, either as a tea time snack or as an appetizer. If you enjoy watching, please hit the subscribe button and join me for many more such interesting videos. Thank you for watching and meet you soon in my next one. Paint the sky.